okay so uh, should i start is it started okay uh, so good afternoon everyone uh, so today we are going to uh, learn something about innovation and design thinking okay uh, so it is something different than uh, your uh, normal topics uh, for the syllabus we are going to uh, learn something about innovation and uh, design thinking today and that is going to help you when you build your project or when you build a product from your project okay so before the pro product we uh, at our engineering level we build uh, the project or that is nothing but a prototype or uh, or proof of concept that we think something to solve we identify some problem to solve and then we build uh, the prototype for that okay but uh, we can extend this prototype uh, to product and actually in four years of your study you should try to at least uh, create one product uh, out of your uh, Work that you are doing in your four years of journey of engineering. Okay, when you enter into your second year engineering, that time only we start asking you people to uh, develop the mini projects, and it should not happen actually because you are spending a lots of time and money and efforts to uh, to develop uh, or to solve some particular problem, and it should not happen that it is just remaining in the drive. It should be uh, converted into a product, and you should get an experience of building a product. Even you can try to bring it into the market, and uh, that may lead into a startup. And even though you are not, uh, uh, you are, you are, you want to do some uh, dream job or you want to do your higher studies, but why not? You should try at least uh, creating one product in your four years of journey. so today my lecture is about uh, understanding what is innovation and what is design thinking and i definitely know that this is going to help you uh, a lot uh, in future also when you will start working in the industry or when you start working on your uh, uh, projects at that time also this knowledge is going to help you a lot because in order to be successful you need to know design thinking design thinking is Uh, the uh, popular term nowadays and uh, it's becoming very famous okay so this is actually uh, the uh, uh, the sequence you need to have a creative mindset in order to do something great you need to have a creative mindset uh, by with your creativity you may generate multiple ideas and uh, you have to select a particular idea idea once implemented it may result into the innovation but when you want to convert your idea into uh, a product or a project uh, that time if you have to uh, if you are using the approach of design thinking uh, and then your idea will be uh, converted into innovation okay so de design thinking is very important to convert your idea into innovation so we are uh, and that innovation can be uh, converted into a prototype then product and you can try to bring it into the market because if someone is using your product then uh, uh, then it's uh, you can bring it into the market and it may lead into a startup okay or even though you are working in a company you are uh, a project based company or product based company that time also you will have to use all this things and you are going to deal with the customer only finally finally even if you are working uh, uh, as a project manager or if you are working in a company uh, you have to uh, work with the client and uh, whatever you are going to create that should be used by someone in the society okay so that's why this topic becomes very very important and uh, this lecture series is organized by iic in this week and the, all the iic teachers are preparing for multiple topics we started from creativity ideations and uh, now design thinking and when you bring your product into the market that time you have to prepare a business plan and business model canvas so uh, we are having sessions on that also okay so i feel that uh, it's only for one hour and uh, you can easily attend the lectures uh, this lecture series okay so first we will these are the my, these are my contents first we are going to learn about what is innovation innovation is a latin word that means something new you are building something new which is not there which is not available in the market or it is not present only so you are building something new it's some totally new idea or you are changing something which is in existence Uh, for the betterment okay or existing product is there or existing uh, process is there and you are bringing a good change in that existing project or product that is also innovation so innovation is a latin word means something new uh, and design thinking uh, is the method or process that we use to convert our idea into innovation 
so we will see what is design thinking what is innovation then what are the phases or steps of design thinking uh, then what is empathy mapping and uh, then uh, we'll see one case study about uh, the companies who have built uh, this design thinking and uh, then i'm going to uh, talk about idea competition and national innovation competition by ministry of education so the purpose of uh, this series is that those who are um, uh, participating in the idea competition we want to prepare the students so that they can participate in the national level competition okay so let's start with innovation what is innovation innovation is create there is a simple definition of innovation innovation is creating value from the idea innovation means creating value from the idea and the value can be commercial value or social value Uh, now when uh, when uh, you are a developer or when you are uh, doing something studying something and uh, if you are empathetic and if you look here and there if you are attentive if you are creative then then you can easily identify uh, the pain points of people or problems the people are facing in the society and if you can identify someone's problem and if you if you decide to solve that problem uh, then then you may create multiple ideas or you may have multiple ideas uh, will come into your mind to solve that particular problem okay so now when you are going to solve uh, that problem you are uh, by using your idea by using your uh, ideation or by uh, ideation you can decide about it and when when you want to uh, provide a solution to your problem you will implement this idea uh after implementation of the idea if uh, it is creating some value in terms of commercial or in terms of social value then we can say that it is innovation okay i'll just repeat this once uh that uh, if you are empathetic then if you are empathetic then what happens is that uh, you are attentive you you can find out some problem uh, somewhere in the society Uh, and then, uh, if you if that uh, uh, if you want to solve that particular problem, you may create multiple ideas. You, ideas will come into your mind, and uh, this idea will be implemented. After implementation of this idea, if if that implementation is generating any value, which is a commercial value or social value, then it is called as innovation. So innovation means creating your idea or implementing your idea. uh into a product or a process which is useful to someone in the society and it's creating a value and commercial value means uh, there are people or there are customers who are ready to uh, buy your product and uh, then um, then then it is creating a commercial value because you are you are selling your product or it can be a social uh, socially relevant project where where people uh, or social worker they want to work something Uh, for the society or they want to make this earth planet beautiful or they are helping someone uh, who uh, in the society uh, some uh, part of the society and uh, if uh, you are creating something which is helpful to someone in the society then it is a social value there you here you may not uh, be looking for the money okay but if your product is uh, is let you create a money value in terms of money then it is a commercial value okay or uh, it is for the business so if your idea is great uh, then uh, then you get a uh, 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 innovation okay so idea Uh, but there are many types of ideas that may come into your mind so first step of any any type of project that you do is uh, ideation you have to generate the idea you have to identify the problem and your idea may look silly in the beginning for example this google uh, founders brin and larry page they came up with the idea that they will crawl the entire internet and they will download all the html pages and that that will be kept on to the servers um, at some location the initially that idea was a silly idea but after implementation it turned out to be the best idea so it is not like that any idea um, initially it may look uh, silly but if you have done a proper study and if you are convinced from your conscious mind that yes it is successful then you can uh, go forward and you should try to implement that idea uh, to uh, to provide the solution to some problem and innovation is a state of mind okay innovation is a state of mind and um, being innovative for uh, innovation to happen you need to be creative 
so creativity is must you have creativity uh, you have to nurture the creativity so innovation is a journey it is uh, towards the value creation it is a continuous journey uh, it's not like you are doing some innovation and you are stopping but uh, it is a continuous journey for uh, doing better and better uh, thing again and again and who is making this journey uh, like there are everyone who wants to be successful he has to uh, cultivate this mindset of uh, innovation for example the managers of growing organization unless and until you are innovative you will not uh, reach to that position of uh, uh, ceo or the of, uh, entrepreneur or or the startup founder or social innovator uh, they are doing innovations and uh, being successful in your um, in your uh, job also you need to be uh, you need to be innovative even the change maker like um, uh, we can say that our iic cell or nisp uh, we are implementing nisp policy so nisp um, group all these people they are the change maker they are trying to bring change in the organization we, we are trying to um, uh, do something like we want to create the awareness about the startup entrepreneurship and product development so if every year we, if we are doing something new uh, then also it is a innovation okay so for anyone to be successful it is very very important to be innovative and you need to cultivate this innovative mindset and uh, this idea is is converted into a solution uh, for solving some problem and that is adding some value to the customer okay so we have to think from the customer's perspective otherwise it will not work so you have to be empathetic uh, for that so uh, so the, these are the, these are some of the terms like creativity invention and innovation uh, we need to know as a even computer engineer or any engineer need to know about all these three terms what is creativity what is invention and what is innovation so creativity is something uh, which is thinking new it is uh, thinking something new but innovation is implementation of this something new into uh, the product or uh, a project okay so or a process so creativity is about thinking but actually doing that is innovation uh, but invention is different invention is also creation of new idea or uh, concept but here it is not generating any value invention is not generating any value it is not compulsory that invention has to create some value which is in terms of money or in terms of some social relevance it is some invention like invention of semiconductors or invention of x ray technology or invention of the formula e is equal to mc square this is invention but when you are using this invention you are applying your creativity and then you are building something such as a product or a create uh, product and then it is called as a innovation which is bringing some value which is a commercial value or social value so it is used innovation is required for doing any kind of business uh, so for example here we may apply our creativity and uh, we, we can use the uh, technology of invention of uh, semiconductors and we come up with the device uh, called as ready or we know the technology of x ray invented and we use that technology and we come up with the x ray machine Uh, which is uh, uh, used in the medical field okay so we have to apply the creativity use the use any invention or uh, you can make your invention and you you convert your invention into a new product or a new process that is giving you some value in terms of uh, money or in terms of some social value then it is called as innovation okay and innovation is a state of mind uh you have to if you want to survive in the competition in the outside world uh, you have to cultivate this mindset of innovation okay uh so these are multiple terms like experiment analysis invention development research so all these terms are inspiration all these terms are with respect to innovation uh, that means uh, we have to do something uh, every day we have to do something which is better better and better okay so uh, for example even if uh, you are uh, deciding about your time table and um, you are doing something about uh, your submissions or your projects and if you are properly planned about it uh, if you are properly planned about it uh, and uh, day by day you are improving yourself that is also uh, that is also innovation okay or or whatever the task you are doing 
uh, even if uh, he is not a student or he is just doing some work in uh, uh, at some particular place the person and if he is doing better and better every day and day then also it is called as uh, innovation so uh, there is a uh, we have to find out the way to how to perform something in a better way and uh, uh, even for being innovative innovative you need to adapt yourself uh, to the world uh, like the outside world is changing continuously it is very fast world and uh, lots of uh, changes are happening in the outside world you have to just grasp everything fast and you have to adapt yourself uh, for the fast uh, changing outside world or uh, if if uh, there are new new technologies are coming then you need to to be aware about it and then you have to adapt yourself and uh, change yourself uh, uh, if you stick to your own ideas and if you are stick to your own way of doing the things uh, then uh, you will not be doing progress you have to adapt yourself according to the new things which are happening in the world uh, and that is the basic requirement for the innovation also so you be uh, in order to be successful you be an innovator not an imitator okay uh, otherwise otherwise you will uh, become a follower uh, you will not be creator and as an engineer you should be creator you should create something new okay the engineer's job is to identify the problems and solve the problems and provide the solution it is not just like only reading the exam and reading the books and giving the exams and doing something which is given by someone it is not like that you have to be innovative you have to identify the problem solve the problems create something new uh, helps the society for the better and change the world and uh, you cannot say that any idea by looking at uh, there are some ideas that you can discard in, in the beginning uh, but there are many ideas which uh, you can give a thought about it and you can try and experiment and then you feel it about the results of that idea and uh, then again if it is not working then again try then experiment and then like this you will have to do uh, keep on doing this and help in changing the world okay so uh, these are the things which are uh, the, the, which are necessary for any uh, innovation uh, so this uh, steve jobs he said that innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower if you are not innovative you will become a follower you will not become a leader and why to do innovation because it will improve your own life you are progressing day by day it is a continuous improvement you can solve the problems easily and your product life cycle is a shorter a shorter life cycle and it's a it's a strategic tool to transform the business and uh, effectively respond to unforeseen events okay because if you are update keeping uh, yourself updated you know all the outside world technologies everything and then you can effectively respond and you can take the decisions uh, for your organization and uh, that will help uh, to uh, get a profit to your business organization and you will survive into the market so for any ceo or for any strategic level manager it is very important to uh, cultivate the habit of being innovative since beginning and you have to try from the college level okay uh, so uh, so it will help you to survive in the competitive market when you are outside the world if you are not innovative the other person will be selected now what is whenever the interviews are happening that time also uh, these companies they try to uh, see the innovativeness in the person because if that person is bringing some good idea and uh, he is doing his uh, work or project work uh, with that proper idea then it may lead to a profit Uh, to the organization so so nowadays there is a, lots of competition there are so many students who are passing and they are looking for the job so they can do the coding or they can do the job which is told to them so now the companies are looking for innovativeness uh, factor plus this innovation is a powerful force behind economic growth that is also true uh, because that is also true uh, because, because if you are a innovator and if you build uh, your own product and if you bring that product into the market and then you may uh, create then you may be you may become a startup founder or your own you may establish your own company and if uh, for uh, you are doing business uh, you will have to communicate with the manufacturers or you will have customers and suppliers and you will uh, appoint the employees and that will result into the employment and uh, that is also uh, good for a nation's growth <coughs> so
so innovation means application of new ideas to solve the problems uh, that is resulting into the benefits of the user here there are some examples uh, bill gates also said that innovation is moving at a, a scarily fast pace means that you have to be you have to work uh, quickly for and you have to take the actions quickly otherwise there are competitors who will uh, take the opportunity and they will go ahead uh, and they will um, grab your market they will grab your customers for example here as as you see in this figure there is kodak or uh, the nokia they couldn't survive in the market because uh, they couldn't think uh, ahead and uh, they uh, they the managers they couldn't come up with the new solutions uh, and uh, with the new technologies so other people took over them and uh, now uh, they are not there in the market okay or the other another example that you can see here in the in the slide is about spotify uh, because spotify could recognize or identify that listening music via mobile is a beneficial uh, or it's very easy for the customers so instead of nowadays instead of using tape recorders or any other devices we prefer listening music via uh, mobile and uh, so spotify uh, could could realize that uh, before others and they came up with the with the software okay so you have to uh, move with a fast pace by identifying the uh, changes which are happening in the world uh, so innovation is also another definition is innovation is also staying alert uh, relevant and for being innovative if you want to be innovative uh, you have to be creative for uh, creativity there are so many uh, features of creativity Uh, like the first requirement of creativity is that you need you need to be uh, in the happy zone. You need to you need to be in the happy zone. If you are unless and until you are happy, or uh, you you cannot uh, you don't become a creative person. Okay, if you are having any negative mindset or if you uh, if there are negative thoughts in your mind, then your all energy goes into that. Okay, so you should be free from all such kind of thoughts. You should be happy. so whenever you get up in the morning you should always start your day with uh, some good thoughts with some exercise with some meditation or uh, some other kind of activities uh, that um, will make you happy or at least you should have a peaceful mind creativity is multidisciplinary also you cannot uh, if you are just concentrating only on something software software from software students point of view and uh, then uh, it's difficult for you to come up with innovative solutions you have to if you uh, if you allow yourself to explore with some other disciplines also uh, that is going to help you in uh, coming up with good pro projects or product and it is also thinking out of the box or uh, problem solving Uh, just don't go in the conventional way always to solve the problem think out of the box and uh, try uh, to to innovate okay so creative what i'm going to say is that uh, uh, creativity is required to be innovative and it will encourage us to be a lifelong learners also Uh, so everyone has to be creative okay the, and the special thing about creativity is that it can be nurtured even if you are not creative you can uh, uh, inculcate uh, your, in yourself uh, being creative by doing some activities there are so many brain uh, games are there or some activities are there that will help you to become creative but the most important thing is that you should be in the happy zone and what happens is that when we are working when we take admission in engineering and when uh, we are studying that time uh, we are uh, you uh, learning mathematics and science a lot okay we give our consideration to all these subjects and there we are utilizing our left brain left brain is for uh, logic numbers calculations analysis Uh, for that and we are not utilizing the right brain properly so for what happens is that our right brain uh, is uh, we, we we are not in the habit of utilization of right brain but if you are using only the left brain then you will come up with something like you will be able to write the code and it will work fine but in long run like uh, it, uh, it is not giving you the uh, success in long run you have to be empathetic you have to uh, you have to have the passion about something you need to be creative and right brain is for that you right brain with right brain you can um, uh, express your feelings you can uh, even uh, sense 
uh, the others willing uh, so all such kind of things are there in the right brain right brain people are uh, creative and uh, when you are building something you have to make utilize uh, you have to utilize both the sides of brain and uh, then you can come up with uh, something which is uh, 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 which is accepted by everyone okay if you are only using left brain then uh, you will uh, do whatever is told to you and it will give you uh, it will work like that but it is uh, it is something like uh, some work done because someone has told you or if you did something and uh, and then you are doing mechanically okay so we have to uh, start uh, using right brain also and for that you have to do some creativity uh, increasing exercises and you can um, you can uh, the more you start using it uh, it will become a stronger okay so uh, innovative mindset means you have to be peaceful with yourself uh, do some uh, activities uh, always don't be on the uh, social media or uh, phone you need to at least spend 10 minutes of time without any gadgets and just sit quietly uh, in the morning and when you are sitting quietly that time maybe some thoughts will start coming and ideas will start coming to you okay like if you are thinking like how to select a project topic and if you are reading a lot and if you keep reading you read multiple papers papers with us and but you are continuously busy then then it uh, uh, then your mind is occupied all this so at least you should find some time which is your me time for 10 minutes of time and you are doing nothing and you are just sitting quietly and uh, then uh, then maybe uh, you will identify a problem Uh, in the outside world and you may come up with good ideas ideas will start coming ideas will start coming in your mind when you are uh, you are just sitting quietly or or maybe someone may have some other uh, quality that time or he is just working that time some ideas will come so everyone has different uh, different types uh, that time uh, the ideas will start coming to the mind and you have to think out of the box okay Uh, so you have to be like a child. Uh, you don't have to think about people, what look, what they say, type of syndrome. Or you have to be childlike person. Like you should be curious, fearless, trusting. All these are the uh, child properties: right? resilient, kind, happy, engaged, energetic, and fun-loving. So if you are having all such positive attributes with you, uh, you should not be childish. Childish, uh, whatever is listed here, childish, childish properties are uh, negative properties. But you have to be. child like properties and then uh, you, uh, you you will become uh, creative and with creative mindset ideas will start coming into your mind uh, even uh, with some survey uh, uh, it, it is observed that people who are very happy they can uh, give the more productivity and uh, they are creative also okay uh, so uh, uh, we want uh, these ideas to be implemented uh, and if that implemented ideas if they are creating any value it is called as innovation now uh, in order to when when you are doing innovation okay i think now you you have understood about it you, you need to cultivate your creative mindset using this creativity uh, uh, you can implement your ideas and when you are implementing your ideas if you are uh, using design thinking approach then definitely it is going to um, bring something uh, uh, which is a innovative solution so design thinking will help you to bring your creativity with business insights so you get some uh, business insights and it will be definitely giving you uh, some commercial value okay so as a project manager also you need to apply this design thinking when you are building your products or as a startup founder or entrepreneur uh, you have to be em empathetic identify the problem and uh, let the ideas come in your mind to solve the problem Uh, and when you are solving the problem uh, use design thinking approach okay so what is design thinking so design thinking uh, design thinking uh, uh, like steve jobs company apple is called as design led company so i have taken this quote by steve jobs that design it uh, design is not just what it looks like or feels like it is not just a diagram or it is not like something some product is made and how it is looking it is not like that it is just it is also how it works 
uh, and as per the linkedin study in uh, current uh, days uh, people who are having uh, the knowledge of design thinking uh, they are in demand uh, in their jobs so people are looking, uh, companies are hiring people who uh, have done the training or who who have used design te thinking techniques while doing their projects even uh, the zebra recruiter uh, said that uh, in us uh, there are uh, the people who have followed this design thinking approach they are a high salaried uh, job they have got high salaried job so let us see some of the definitions of design thinking uh, so design thinking um design thinking uh, is becoming very very popular to solve the problem it is helpful in solving the problem uh, that are if defined or unknown if the problem is unknown uh, and uh, you want to uh, solve that problem uh, then it is useful it is useful for creating never thought before solutions or innovative solutions uh, not uh, a conventional approach is used something innovative solution is to be uh, built and it is also an iterative process okay it is a iterative process that involves the end user it is a iterative process of designing some uh, making something and it is continuously involving the user in meaningful way and it will resolve the user issues okay so uh, uh, design thinking is useful for creating innovative solutions for anything it is a iterative process it involves the end user uh, and uh, that will uh, it will try it is trying to resolve the user issues another definition is design thinking is blend of logic powerful imagination uh, systematic reasoning intuition uh, to bring to the table ideas that promote to solve the user problems uh, so it is uh, everything combined together logic imagination reasoning intuition um, and uh, mm, uh, you do this study also and then solving the customer problems the so customer is the uh, is the center point here like a customer is focused it is customer oriented solution and it helps to bring creativity with uh, business insights it ha uh, design thinking helps to bring creativity uh, with business insights that is the definition okay it is becoming very popular nowadays and um, uh, these are the companies who became famous and uh, because they have other than the companies like google uh, or amazon uh, like big companies they are already following this design thinking approach when they are building any product but these companies have their case studies you can google and uh, search about the, uh, this design thinking uh, applied in a particular bank of america or pepsico or brand brown company or stanford healthcare so all these companies are coming up with their products and they have followed design thinking approach and uh, they are making profits because of that uh, for example uh, this is an example of a g healthcare uh, and this was this is an mri machine which is developed and uh, uh, this uh, person inventor doug he observed that uh, whenever uh, any a child is there or kid is there we, and we have to do the mri for him he that uh, kid used to cry many kids used to cry when uh, when they are they are doing their mri so so he felt very bad about it and then he thought that my customer or my uh, uh, people who are using my product they should be uh, they should feel good about it when they are using the product so uh, so he did uh, some he spoke with the kids and then he came up with something a new project a new uh, machine which is looking like this and uh, for kids so uh, uh, then they observed that the kids are uh, not at all getting uh, getting scared when mri is done for the kids and initially the organization uh, uh, many people uh, said that why why to spend so much of money on this and again building something with the new look and feel and all uh, but he went ahead and he brought up this machine and and became uh, famous and popular okay or uh, uh, so why this design thinking is important because it is following the human centric techniques the customer uh, uh, is important here it is a iterative process it redefines the problems okay continuously redefines the problem so it becomes innovation 
and innovation means it, it has to be successful if you are implementing your idea and providing the solution but if no one is there to uh, use your product then it is useless however a uh, smart device you build but if there is no one to buy your device then it is useless uh, and then uh, there is something wrong in your problem statement also so here it is a iterative process you keep on redefining the problem also and it promotes the solution based approach it is uh, uh, like uh, it develops empathy with the target user and uh, it's a hands on approach to prototyping and testing so the features are um, for any complex problem just you just find the simplicity in the complexity in design thinking we find the simplicity in complexity we address the actual requirement of the user okay only the uh, beautiful and uh, we, we are having beautiful and aesthetically appealing product the product looks like very uh, handy simple to use beautiful and it actually addresses all the requirements of the user user is very happy when he is using your product and uh, also a uh, design thinking feature is that it will uh, bring the innovative feasible and viable solution in the market innovative means it is going to give you the customer uh, the value uh, it's feasible it's possible to implement it and it's viable means um, it is really useful to the end user and uh, it also improves the end user experience so it is very important that when the end user is using your product he should feel very good while using your uh, your product you should not be frustrated at any point so end user is very very important when we are developing a product or providing the solution using design thinking there are five it is a five process uh, or there are five steps the first step is empathize so so you have to be empathetic with the end user or customer then uh, the define phase then ideate uh, and prototype and then test so these are the five uh, five steps and what is speciality about uh, so what is design thinking in design thinking there are five steps empathize define ideate prototype and test and what is special about it is that all these five steps are independent of each other all these five steps are independent of each other when you are when you are empathizing means when you are talking to the customer you don't think about definition or prototype or testing or something else you are just talking to the customer and you are gathering the information from him uh, when you are defining a problem statement you are just defining it and when you are doing ideation that time you are just creating the ideas and trying to find out different ways to solve the problem and then you are you are not thinking about anything else so you are focusing on uh, the state in which you are so all these steps are independent of each other in the first step you empathize with the user in the second phase of definition you identify the after empathizing and talking to the user you have to identify the exact problem on which you want to work on then in the next phase is ideation where you are trying to provide uh, you are trying to create as many ideas as possible <coughs> so here quantity yeah, uh, is 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 important quantity is also important so you are creating multiple ideas many ideas and then you can afterwards you can go on uh, um, removing some of the ideas from this but initially when you do the ideation you have to create and generate as many ideas as as possible after generation of many ideas then you keep uh, go on discarding it and trying to find try to find out uh, the most suitable idea which is is feasible then the next step is prototyping so you finalize the design and uh, decide the solution uh, to be how how to implement the solution and you finalize the design after finalizing the design now uh, you do the testing means you go to the customer uh, and uh, selected customers and test your design solution now here after looking at your prototype prototype is a small version of the project or product it is not the real product prototype is not a real product it is just a uh, design on the paper or it can be a model uh, which is done by uh, using some material which you have or some uh, uh, whatever is there in your house you can use that material and just build it the prototype or if it is a software project it will be just a uh, screenshot or uh, if it is a hardware or mechanical product then uh, you can build the model by using anything but it is just a prototype 
uh, and uh, it will give you the uh, the end user up the feeling about the final product but it is not not the final project product so the uh, do the testing with the uh, identified customers and uh, take the feedback and the feedback is very very important when you get the feedback again you can go back to the initial stage because you may get multiple output from the user and you go on refining uh, your uh, problem statement so it is not a sequential process always it is a iterative process it is a iterative process there is no fixed sequential order and how iterative means that so that's why i told you in the beginning that design thinking is a iterative process so what we do is that we we empathize we talk to the end users we want to solve some problem so we meet such kind of people who are having that problem and uh, we talk to them uh, and empathize them and then define the problem then generate the ideas some implement some of the ideas uh, and uh, show it to the customer or end user end user may give you the feedback from that you may again empathize or you may again talk to uh, talk to the uh, the uh, remaining people and again define your statement or you may learn something from the test so you will again have uh, another idea or uh, in the prototyping stage also you may come up with the new idea so you can go back and you try that idea like this you can try try your idea uh, test it talk uh, if it is not feasible then again take the another idea and again build it and like this you have to come up with the solution because you are convinced that this is the problem in the real world really there is a problem and if i solve the problem someone is going to be benefited so you are convinced so you can use any method like first idea if it is, it is failing then another idea like this you can keep trying till you get the success okay so these are the these it is a non linear process and these are the steps um, are to be used in design thinking uh for example uh, see here in this diagram <coughs> the designer is not at all empathetic uh, if uh, we feel that like we can observe that uh, she is a uh, dina and she is looking at she wants to uh, go to, she wants to locate the gate uh, to which her flight uh, she has to board okay so it's very difficult for her because it is a scrolling screen and so many information about so many flights is there uh, so the designer is uh, designer can be more empathetic uh, so that the end user if is looking at the screen immediately can make out or uh, get some information so here you need to be more empathetic so empathetic means putting uh, once yourself into the shoes of customer you have to talk to the customer motivate him to give the information to you it will focus on the user understand the problem identify how the user is feeling when you are interacting with the user uh, and uh, um, you can use multiple techniques like you can make a interview brainstorm but you have to brainstorm before before visiting to the uh, customer or end user and you have to identify what are the questions you have to ask you have to have multiple good type of questions to ask to the person you have to motivate the other person to uh, speak about their problems uh, so take the interview or you should have multiple high type of questions what why where who when all such kind of plenty of questions you have to ask you, you should not ask binary answer question yes or no kind of kind of questions you should not ask it should be open question so that the end user will start speaking about it uh, do the field visit have the observation session if they, they are using the existing product then how they are using how they are handling it then is there any problem when they are using the, that particular uh, device then even with the help of survey also you can gather the information so you have to be empathetic you have to put yourself into the shoes of customer and understand the user needs you when when you are uh, understanding you should not be judgmental and you have to ask right questions that is very important uh, for example in uh, zomato also once they have developed the site with the survey they can ask you know, customers that uh, uh, whether the user is comfortable with the app whether he like the user interface what are the challenges he is facing uh, or uh, what is something which is leading him to frustrate so all such things uh, they have to take the survey and they have to uh, take each and everything very important way it should consider as important uh, issue to resolve and they should improve their project or they should improve their website 
so the designer should hear all the complaints it should not neglect any small complaint and you have to um, do the modification or create the product that will satisfy the user and make the life of the user easy there are four quadrants of empathy ma mapping after doing this empathy mapping or uh, empathetic study uh, the designer gets some insights and he can use these insights to form the problem statement okay writing a problem statement is really a tough job writing the problem statement is really a tough job initially you feel very difficult for it it is difficult for you to write the proper problem statement for your project uh, so if your uh, study of empathy or requirement gathering is done properly you get some insights and that helps you to define the proper problem statement so in the empathy mapping uh, is something a tool uh, which has four quadrants like when you are talking to the user user will say something but he thinks in a different manner sometimes he will not be open to uh, say what he thinks he may feel something but he is not he is not able to express that feeling or um, he may do something which is different so there are four things that all everything you have to consider what is he saying what is he doing how he, uh, what are the feelings when he is using your product and uh, what he thinks about something so it is empathy map is used to uh, when you are talking to the user you should create an empathy map which will help you to gain 360 degree perspective about what is what what is this user exactly what what is his problem or uh, you can understand him properly okay so for example um, you take the interview uh, okay and then uh, you create the empathy map based on the conversation and you can record the insights and uh, identify the uh, pain point um, you can pinpoint the user needs you can identify his pain points and you can pinpoint or, or identify his his needs uh, so you can visualize the user's behavior uh, you you can arrive at the common understanding of a user in your team um, because here what he says means preferably it may contain some verbal or direct statements what it thinks means uh, it emphasizes on what the client thinks about the experience here these are direct statements what he said here it is about his experience about his thinking about it uh, and uh, in uh, in this do quadrant uh, it will focus on actions the client uh, he is taking like how he is interacting with the web uh, site or with the product is he happy or he is finding all the options in the website or how uh, he feels means what is his mental state when he is working with the project is he frustrated or he is very happy or easily he can uh, he, he can use so we can mention that with the help of an adjective or a short sentence in this uh, in this empathy mapping tool so first step is empathy talk to the end user and um, gather all the information uh, then unpack your empathy findings and then analyze this data uh, to get some needs and insights uh, then pay attention to asking the right issues uh, uh, tackle the right issue and uh, then you may come up with the problem statement and um, like clearly defining a problem is like pinpointing the north star in this kind from all these things uh, if you, uh, you are uh, clearly defining a problem is like correctly identifying something okay uh, so you you have to be specific when you are writing your problem you, we have, uh, you have to use a positive statement uh, you have to describe the attribute of the product that you are going to develop or uh, you should avoid must or should kind of statements it should be positive simple statement and specific and uh, it should uh, cover what are you trying to solve to for whom you are trying to solve the problem what are the different ways you can approach this and how can we act on it all this information is always there when you write your project report you are doing this okay then the next step is ideate uh, so in 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 this uh, idea stage you think out of the box let your creativity flow let many ideas spark many ideas then prioritize your ideas uh, lay the judgment aside when you are talking and discussing about it and don't do any judgment because any silly idea may uh, may be a good idea in future uh, so here in this stage your motto is quantity over quality so as many ideas possible uh, that can be generated and you just have to uh, see the ideas afterwards 
so you can make use of uh, sticky notes sketch sketchings chart papers mind map brainstorming or uh, debates or lightning demos or four step sketching or body storming such kind of tools you can use to ideate and uh, represent your ideas and then you can look into uh, such kind of mind map or uh, sticky notes and uh, you can uh, spend some time on that and then uh, you select the most appropriate idea or you can combine two three ideas together and finally decide which uh, idea is to be tried and prepare the prototype for that prototype need not be uh, the actual uh, working model it can be a model which uh, depicts the functionality or it shows and uh, how something is going to work it is useful for testing and it is ideal for the feedback uh, it is a quick iteration. It is we are not spending uh, money in the prototyping, much money in the prototyping, but it is bringing you closer to the desirability, feasibility, and viability of the product. Uh, then, in the testing stage, uh, you can uh, deploy uh, in the live website, or you can uh, uh, give this your prototype to the end user to test. And uh, uh, you have to create a report. In the report, you can write the details about the test. All the information should be clear in the report and uh, what is the user's feeling uh, everything user's experience uh, is uh, noted down in this test report and it is useful for solving complex problem from human perspective so you are giving the end user actually you're not waiting or you you have not started actually manufacturing the product you are first giving the prototype to the uh, some of the users like 1000 users first 1000 users uh, and you do the testing and get the feedback and that feedback is to be treated very importantly okay so here uh, in empathy we are we understand by asking users need in define we explore by finding pattern in prototype we are providing the specifications and we evaluate it uh, by always iterating again we can go back and do all these things okay for example uh, if uh, there is a product universal remote uh, then this remote is useful for any device but if you see this remote it's very complicated and even if the remote is there at home we don't tend to use this remote because it's very difficult and uh, complex it's not easy to operate instead that if you have a, another device like a smart uh, uh, smart tv remote or if you have the remote in your mobile it's very easy to operate for that device okay so this is the design thinking you are not uh, this this type of design is not that acceptable compared to uh, the remote which is available nowadays in the mobile or it, or a smart tv remote okay um, so i'll just discuss so this is about design thinking but we we'll, we'll just discuss about one or two examples and then <coughs> then i'll stop for today's session uh, see, there was a, there is a product uh, called as Embrace Baby Warmer. You can search that in the Google. Uh, it, actually, in Nepal, uh, if uh, the baby uh, uh, is born in the seventh month or if it is a premature baby, we have to keep the baby in incubator. But there in Nepal, uh, uh, these incubators are not available at each and every location. Or if it is a village, sometimes the incubator is not there. And if there is no electricity also, these incubators are not working. And because of that, some of the babies, they developed uh, this uh, hypothermia. <coughs> so the team of students at Stanford, they came up and they uh, solved this issue by providing a maintained temperature for six hours for new baby. They came up with this body warm, uh, baby warmer. And this is a simple device which will provide you the constant temperature and it does not require continuous power supply. So they identified the pain point of the end user and they are helping uh, and this has helped a lot even in India and some rural locations this uh, baby warmer is, is used nowadays and it is very handy you can keep the baby inside this uh, incubator and um, uh, he will be at the constant temperature even if the electricity is not there uh, you can use it and it is portable also easy to use also okay so it uh, so it, they they uh, emphasized on the prototyping they took the feedback and uh, they kept revising their product Another example that I can see you, uh, show you is about uh, some restaurant, Vegan Gardens, uh, which is looking for online home delivery service. It, it is a restaurant uh, owned by Jane, 
Jen is the restaurant owner, and James is a, is a business analyst. And now he is using design th uh, technique, design thinking technique. So let us understand design thinking with the help of example. The example is uh, this is a vegan garden as a restaurant owned by Jane, uh, and she has a big list of requirements. Not only two are uh, only two requirements are listed over here. There are so many requirements uh, of Jane. She wants to develop a mobile app. Uh, uh, which is working in Android and iOS, which is a online home delivery service. And she also wants to develop a web portal, uh, working on all the browsers with some all other requirements. And uh, the constraints are limited budget, and she is using her profit uh, to build all these things. Uh, so now uh, James is a business analyst. He is analyzing. He is talking to her, because uh, uh, Jane. And with this experience, he, say, he understands that he knows that the customers uh, may not be using all the features which Jane is asking for. Uh, they are uh, he uh, the IT they will have to have some IT department or IT people. They have to hire the IT people. And they have to maintain the website and they're going to spend some money on that. They are going to develop something. And there are there are so many features which Jane is thinking right now. They will not be used by the customer. That's what Jane is thinking. Uh, so, uh, so he he knows that they are spending lots of money on developing something which is not used by anyone. So you should not do like this in uh, in your product building. So what he did that he did uh, use the empathy, he and empathy technique, and he uh, he, he said that uh, instead of immediately starting with this uh, development, uh, we just identify uh, the regular customers. So they identified some regular customers, arranged few sessions with these regular customers. They did the interview. They talked to them, and they understood the real requirements uh, with some interviews. And what he came to know is that uh, the the customers are saying this. Regular customers are saying that it is a healthy vegetarian option. Going to this restaurant is a healthy vegetarian option. Uh, but our but the customer schedule but our schedule is very tight. Evening and weekend we are busy, so so the restaurant is far off. We cannot go. We want to order online. But if we order online via phone, it is time wastage. Nobody is picking the phone on right time. Even there is difficulty in explaining the location where the delivery is to be done and collection process is also not well. So he when he spoke to regular customers, he came to know about this, and then he validated that. The business need, uh, Jane's business need of online delivery system is right. People are ready uh, to uh, order online. Okay, so they can go for online ordering system. Otherwise, if you don't validate, if you think that you want to do this, and if you don't validate that particular thing, then it will be a wastage, and you are wasting money, and it will be a loss for your company. Uh, so he understood that this is a valid need. This is a uh, he validated. Uh, then. Uh, uh, then uh, even the, the, the customers they want uh, easy ordering with few clicks. So even they did not say anything about website application. So they were caring about only mobile application. Okay. So this James realized that instead of building a website, if, even if they on, uh, launch only the mobile app, that is also sufficient. Okay. Even uh, while talking to them, they came to know that the customers want healthy food uh, as a lunch. They want to order healthy food from this restaurant as a lunch, and they don't want to order it again and again. Once they subscribe, uh, then uh, they want to get the lunch uh, every day. Jane was not aware of these subscriptions, and now uh, she came to know about this. And now, if she provides this facility, it will be a great addition to the revenue generation, and it is going to solve the big problem. <coughs> So uh, yes, um, even after that, James uh, sent the email survey to the restaurant, and he also came to know that 65% of his customers are using Android. Uh, so they decided to go ahead with the Android application instead of both the applications at the beginning, and um, uh, and he convinced James that uh, instead of web application, they can have a um, Android application. So he came. He, the next step is defined. He defined the problem statement, and the problem statement uh, uh, the, the, he defined that it is they are unable to visit the restaurant for lunch, unable to order the food. The the customers are unable to visit the restaurant for lunch. 
they are unable to order the food for dinner or we uh, or the, over the weekend because the restaurant is far off whole ordering system is not easy whole delivery process is cumbersome and uh, they don't remember to order the food so they do, they want uh, they eat in the cafeteria uh, when they don't have the time otherwise they could have uh, asked for the lunch from this restaurant so this is the definition then in the third stage ideate in the idea he uh, did the brainstorming with all the team members all the stakeholder holders and uh, then they came up with the ideas like uh, category they that they can categorize the food items as breakfast lunch dinner uh, depending on the salad burger also categorization uh, gps system to identify the customer location or they can have the mobile banking for payment uh, when the order is done online via pay via mobile even they can provide the subscription option for lunch pack uh, and uh, uh, the de the design should be so, such a simple that it, within few clicks only order is to be placed so they can reorder okay all such things are done the ideation and uh, then they build a prototype now here the prototype is just a screen, series of screen storyboard it can be on the paper or it can be uh, via some software tool uh, some screens were created and you just again go to the customer and show the prototype and so don't uh, feel anything about going and approaching the customer okay prepare the dummy model and show the show to the customer and talk to the customer again and show this uh, all the series of screens like this way you will log in browsing uh, how to order set up the location what will happen like this you can show uh, uh, with a series of screens or on the storyboard and then also you get some insights by using these insights uh, then uh, you uh, so so this is called as a testing when you are going and showing your prototype to the uh, end user this is called as a testing and when they were doing the testing even they got some other insights like the customer were not happy with the subscription model uh, because they don't want uh, the fix or menu uh, every day and they want some flexibility or sometimes they want to cancel Uh, for that particular cancel the lunch for that particular day okay so that uh, insights also uh, these people got when they did this testing uh, and they again redefined the problem and uh, did some changes and once this is done now uh, the feedback uh, from this feedback it was evident that uh, their product uh, will be used by the customers and it will become a hit and that uh, build the confidence in the team when they were um, they were building the product okay so so in short it is a five step process even airbnb also as a case study good case study for uh, this uh, they have used the design thinking approach okay so you have to uh, be empathetic uh, you have to define properly ideate prototype test and again go back to any any one of the step Uh, as per the insights you get and then finally uh, you can uh, this finally then you can manufacture or build the actual product, actual project so you can so you can start your development by using agile methodology okay so this is about uh, what is design thinking all is so what at the end i can say that uh, when when you are uh, uh, so what i want to say you is that you can build the creativity nurture the creativity in yourself uh nurture the creativity uh, in yourself keep yourself updated you should know what is happening in the world and uh, identify the uh, be, being empathetic identify the problems in the society then you can do the ideations you can generate multiple ideas to solve the problems use the design thinking approach to implement your idea into a product into a prototype show the prototype to the end users take the feedback means do the testing and then again refine your model and then finally then once you are convinced then you can start uh, building the actual product uh, by using agile methodology uh, okay so okay so th these are the uh, new areas where uh, the uh, and well there are so, so much of work is happening with respect to computer engineering students and you can find um, you can get multiple ideas if you 
um, read something on this, you will be able to uh, get some idea and you will be able to solve some, you can identify some problem to solve. Okay. So, uh, here these are the people who have used innovative, who were innovative who were innovative and they applied their creativity and with the help of design thinking and all such kind of approaches they came up with their startups and their startups are becoming uh, very famous these are all indian startups except one or two here in this diagram in this picture so these are all indian people who came up with some creative idea and implemented the idea uh, which is actually innovation because it is generating some value in terms of money or in terms of uh, some social relevance so here, uh, what uh, this is the end of my uh, information about ideation and innovation and design thinking. I just want to, I, I'm spending just two, three minutes of time to tell you about idea competition. Now we are going in the second phase of idea competition. You can participate with your project uh, name or title or with some new idea. In this idea competition phase two also you can join. And here uh, in our college IIC, uh, we uh, every year we conduct an idea competition. We organize an idea competition where um, in the final round uh, you have to show your project or product or a new process. And if you are selected, then you uh, you will be representing the college by participating in national level idea competition. Okay, so initially it is a college level idea competition. If you are shortlisted, winner teams will get some prize. But if you are shortlisted, few teams will be shortlisted, five, six teams, maybe depending on the team's product. You may not win, but you may be shortlisted. And if you are shortlisted, you are uh, you will be able to participate in the national level idea competition. And it will be very good if you are participating in that competition because it is going to add a lots of advantage to you in your resume also. Because it is a competition uh, launched by Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell, that is MOE, MIC. Okay, so these are the activities which are happening in IIC. That's why we want all of you to participate in large numbers in IIC uh, sessions because we are trying to prepare you to participate in that competition. Okay, so we start from field, field visit, we keep some seminars on ideation, uh, then proof, uh, prototype competition. Uh, then uh, we may make you aware about IPR, what is IPR, how to file it, or some knowledge about IPR. And uh, then, um, then if you are shortlisted, you represent the college. Okay. So spread this word uh, and uh, tell your friends also about this idea competition. So initially it is college level idea competition, and then it will be national level idea competition in which you will be able to participate. Okay. So tell every, tell as many students as possible about this. And I hope uh, you must have enjoyed the session, like you liked the session. Is there, if there are any questions, you can ask the questions now. Uh, so with this quote, we will stop. Many of life's failure are people uh, who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. OK. So. Any questions? Fine, just a minute. Fine. Oh, Ma'am. Yes. Uh, yes Ma'am, huh. uh, ma uh, is the idea competition over yet or yet to be organized? It is not over. Only phase one is over and we are going to have now phase two. But those who have not participated in phase one, they can directly participate in phase two. Again, if you are not ready uh, in the phase three also, we can we welcome the teams. In phase one, we ask the students only to tell about the problem statement in which they are going to work. Now in phase two, we will see the implementation. And in phase three, we will see uh, business plan and business model canvas. Like uh, from business point of view, uh, how to prepare it and what is your because in the final competition, they will see like they will ask you to prepare the plan and show the plan. So we want uh, you to teach that because it is not in the syllabus. Yes. So tomorrow, tomorrow, Kranti ma'am is going to take a session on business model canvas. And then there is a business speech. Like if you are in front of investors and if you want funds for your project, then you have to uh, tell about your project. So that is a business speech. So all the sessions are for that. 
so the sessions will be there in this month also they are, we will ask external people speaker to come and give the sessions uh, in the remaining semester but you can join in the phase 2 ma'am uh, yes. when is the phase 2 now uh, i told uh, that ecl is is organizing uh, uh -huh. this idea competition so they are going to uh, circulate the message in one or two days about sure. phase 2 okay ma'am got it okay so just tell everyone in the college also your friends because um, we want actually so lots of students to uh, know about this okay yes, and, and it, it's really a great advantage if you are uh, if you are the winner or at least if, if you are participating in the national level competition uh, uh, it was a added advantage in your resume Okay, okay, and uh, even the recruiters, the company recruiters, job recruiters, uh, they are looking uh, for in innovation factor in the candidates. That is the feedback that we have got from the placement uh, companies. Uh, Ma'am, so, yeah. So in the uh, phase two of the competition, do we have to uh, just uh, tell the problem statement or the business plan as well? No, now in the uh, in the phase one only uh, phase one you have to tell only the problem statement. But in phase yeah, two, phase two, then, uh, phase two, you have to show some implementation. Okay, so for the people who are uh, directly uh, joining the phase two, what all do we have to show? So they will uh, they will tell the problem statement first, and they will show the demonstration then. And um, so you can uh, you can uh, um, myself, Kranti, and even uh, Ashwini. Answer him. I'm from computer department. We look into uh, this idea competition. So if you have any query or any problem you are having and you want to solve it, you can approach us and uh, show us. We can guide you. Like uh, and even we can we will we can give you some time to uh, implement if something is remaining and some partial implementation is there. Like this, we can consider you because it is inside the college. Finally, we are shortlisting uh, the uh, teams which are prepared properly. Uh, to participate in the national level competition, we have to uh, uh, to forward the team names uh, to them for national level competition. So we have some time. We have lots of time uh, this semester. After this semester, only it will happen national level competition. But it will not happen in one day. So it is in phases inside the college. So in second phase, you can show some implementation. Okay. Or, or after that also, if you have uh, some uh, some problem statement in your mind and some idea is there, you come to us. We will uh, we will decide like how to go about it, and we will try to prepare you for the final competition. Sure. sure. Thank you. Okay. So feel free to talk to us anytime. You can write down your names and uh, numbers in the chat box by the time. Before leaving the meet, you can write down your numbers and names in the chat box.